Hi, this is Jim Bergman with True Tech Tools. Today I wanted to go over a little bit about combustion analyzer calibration. We've sold thousands of combustion analyzers over the years and we want to make sure that you understand the importance of calibrating your instrument and how that might impact your daily work and life. A lot of technicians buy an analyzer and they don't always consider how often it needs to be calibrated. Most manufacturers recommend calibration once per year and it's critical that you send it in to get the calibration verified. The reason it's so critical to have your analyzer calibrated yearly is simply because you're staking your health and your customer's health on an accurate measurement. TrueTech Tools verifies, calibrates, and repairs Testo and Backrack residential light commercial combustion analyzers. We can also verify the calibration of any other brand that you might have. And to put it quite simply, a lot of these analyzers simply go through hell. We're putting them through hot, wet flue gas that contains acid, contains all kinds of byproducts of combustion, and the, while the analyzer is designed to be protected against those things, it does put some wear and tear on the analyzer and it, we have to go through periodically and make sure that it's still operating correctly. The verification process involves putting the analyzer on test gas, making sure that it's reading correctly uh, via the calibrated test gas that we have, and then making sure that the analyzer doesn't have any leaks internally or in the probe assembly. Calibration involves not only the verification process, but also making adjustments to the analyzer to bring it back into the factory specifications so that we get accurate readings. Our repair service involves the changing of O-rings, gaskets, seals, sensors, anything that is a mechanical failure in the analyzer that might give you a leak in your O2 path or your CO path or give you an incorrect reading. And we go through the entire analyzer, clean it, inspect it, and make sure that it's working the way it did the day it left the factory. When you send your analyzer in for service, one of the most important things to remember to send is the entire probe assembly. The probe assembly needs a thorough inspection to make sure that there's no leakage in the gas path. When we get the probe assembly in, we also check the thermal couple to make sure there's no damage to the thermal couple and you get an accurate stack temperature reading. We also want to check the water trap and the water trap filter to make sure that they're clean. If we need to, at that time we can also install a NOx filter to make sure there's no cross sensitivity to NOx and you get an accurate CO reading and we can make sure again that the entire gas path is sealed and the analyzer will read accurately. One of the best things about dealing with TrueTech tools is we have both a verification and calibration service. Our verification service is a low cost service that allows you just to get your analyzer put on test gas and make sure that it's not leaking and that it's reading accurately. Our calibration service involves actually taking the cells back to the factory specifications. Analyzers should be verified yearly, which simply means that we need to make sure the analyzer is reading accurately. Analyzers only need calibrated periodically, and that may be only one or two times in the entire life of the analyzer cells. Whether you get your analyzer verified or calibrated, we're going to send the unit back with a sticker that shows the, the date of verification or calibration and the technician that serviced it. There's nothing more frustrating than having to send your analyzer in for emergency service and I want to go over some of the things that we see every day that contractors could actually uh, take note of in the field and avoid sending their analyzer in so we can get it in here for plan service instead. After you've been doing combustion analysis for a few months, you very quickly find that it's a tool that you don't ever want to be without. And a lot of times you get analyzers in for service that could have been repaired in the field. So I wanted to go over some of the basic things that we see every day or things that we support over the phone that might get you out of a pickle in a hurry and get you through the day to get the job done. One of the more common things that we see in testo analyzers is that the particulate trap in the back has a defective o-ring or the o-ring is simply not sealing well when the technician reinstalled the particulate filter inside the cap. So you want to make sure that that's on tight and that it's twisted a quarter turn to lock so that no air leaks inside the probe shaft. Also, you want to make sure that you completely inspect the probe hose for melting. Again, we're working around hot flue gas, so sometimes these things get in stack temperatures that are near 600 degrees, and while the probe shaft is heat resistant, and the probe assembly is heat resistant, it is not heat proof. And many times we see guys get these too close to the fire, or in the fire, or on the stack, and it causes the hole to melt through the probe assembly and we end up with a leak. Another thing that we typically see is guys don't properly install the probe assembly onto the bottom of the combustion analyzer. Testo uses a bayonet style clip which means that you have to push it all the way on and then turn that bayonet clip a quarter turn until you hear it click. 
When you hear that click, you have a positive seal against the bottom of the analyzer and the probe assembly. If you don't have that clicked on there tight, you're going to get a high O2 reading and a bad efficiency reading on your analyzer. Another frequent problem we see in combustion analyzers, especially on the Testos, is damaged ambient air probes. The ambient air probe installed on the bottom is a removable part and you can use an accessory probe that would extend this out for like a 90 plus so you can get a, a, a temperature inside the uh, intake pipe on a 90 plus furnace. But this part here periodically gets damaged or crushed and it needs replaced. You need to make sure that you have an ambient air temperature probe installed so you get, a, get an accurate efficiency calculation when you're using your combustion analyzer. Another problem we see frequently is customers forget that they have to empty the water trap in the combustion analyzer. Testo analyzers have an integrated water trap that has to be drained periodically and should be drained after every use. Once the analyzer gets full of water, it can no longer pull flue gas through the gas path and you're going to get an error or you're going to damage your CO or O2 cell. So you want to make sure that you empty it after every use. On the top of the analyzer is a drain plug and that drain plug pulls out to allow you to drain the water out and you need to make sure that it's number one installed back in and pushed in tight so that you don't have leaks in the air path of the instrument of the gas path. With the Testo 327s, when the O2 is on its last leg and it really is time to set it in for service, there is one thing you can do to get you out of a pinch and we've helped a lot of guys out with this in the past. What will happen is the O2 will start to scroll through and it will it'll go through the O2 calibration and back to O2 calibration and back to O2 calibration and it will not come out of that menu because the O2 cell again is starting to go bad. So what you can do to get a little bit more time out of it is to simply from the flue gas measurement hit the menu button. That will take you into the main measuring menu. Scroll down one. That will hit adjust. Hit OK. When it goes down you hit the down arrow again. That takes you to O2 calibration. And from the O2 calibration screen, simultaneously press the up and the down arrows. When you do that, it'll go through a 30 second O2 calibration and take it out of that fault menu again so you can do the one last test before you send it into us for service. Just like the Testo analyzers, we see a lot of field problems result from the probe assembly and how it's handled. Again, this is the water trap inside the back rack unit it's not integrated in like the Testo is, so it requires a special handling. You need to make sure that the filter is always pointed towards the top because this is what keeps water from entering inside the combustion analyzer. After every use this needs to be emptied and we need to make sure that the o-ring seal is completely sealed when we put it back together so that we don't get an O2 leak that causes an erroneous reading of the combustion analyzer. Also periodically we see that the screws in the probe shaft come loose you need to just periodically go through, tighten those up, make sure that they're snug, so you, again you don't have an O2 leak and get an erroneous reading. We also see in both Testo and back rack problems with the thermocouple in the tip. You want to make sure that the thermocouple is not bent or touching the side of the probe assembly because it will also affect your stack temperature reading. So now that we've covered the typical problems that we see in the field, the question always comes up is how do you know when it's time to send your analyzer into us? because analyzers today are designed to be plug and play and they, typically a user can order cells and swap the cells out and have the thing back in operation in a few hours. However, that's not always the case. Sometimes, particularly with the Testo 327, that they require a firmware update to make sure it's got the most current firmware so it will accept the new cell. O2 cells, you can plug and play and you shouldn't have any problems. Both Baccarat and Testo analyzers though should be verified after they're put in and tested to make sure that they're reading correctly and that's where we can put it on test gas and make sure that the O2 and the CO cell are in calibration and that there's no internal leaks inside the instrument. That's a really important part of the verification process. While typically a field technician might be able to check an electrical meter, let's say, and make sure that they are getting 120 volts out of a wall outlet because they have a known source, it sometimes become a, becomes a challenge with test gas and that's really where we come in and can do that for a very uh, reasonable cost and make sure that your analyzer is performing properly. In order to make your calibration verification service quick and easy to use, we have a calibration tab on the front of the website. If you click on calibrations and then you purchase the calibration verification service, what, I'll, what you'll need to do next is scroll down in the form and fill out some paperwork that you're going to return with your analyzer that shows the model, serial number, and a short description of the problem that you're having. This will allow us to get it back to you quickly. 
The issue becomes is when we get an analyzer in a box with no paperwork, it takes us a lot of legwork in order to get that, find out who owns it, what the problem was, and then get it back to you. So we want to make sure we make this as easy and painless as possible so we can have the analyzer turn around to you in a matter of days instead of over a week. The best part about using True Tech tools for verification calibration service is simply our guarantee. If you have our, your paperwork all filled out in the box, we know what's wrong with it when it hits our door, we guarantee that in four business days, we'll have it on our dock ready to ship back to you. The verification calibration service does not include repairs, so if you need a repair in your analyzer, it may take us a day or two extra to get that done. But typically, we can have it turned around in four days or less, the first time, every time, back to you and ready to roll so you can get your job done. There are times when you just can't wait four days, and TrueTech Tools does offer expedited services. So if you need to get your analyzer in a quick, quick and you're in a pinch, dial 1-888-224-3437, hit option 2, Billy, our calibration manager, will let you know if we can squeeze you in and get your analyzer back to you any faster. If you're new to combustion or you just need a fall refresher, don't forget to go to the True Tech Tools video archive and take a look at the combustion videos on our site. We also have a free combustion analyzer download, and again, we're always glad to support you via phone if you need help when you get into the field uh, and you're having combustion analyzer problems that you can't figure out how to get resolved. This is Jim Bergman for True Tech Tools. Thanks a lot for your business and thanks a lot for watching.